vapors <laughs> oh my goodness thank you Rihanna <laughs> I'm actually starting to film my Saturday chat this week's on Thursday morning so that's why the lighting's different and I felt like using my Johnny Depp mug this morning it felt appropriate So I'm laying in bed last night and I'm scrolling through but across the top of my screen pops up Rihanna's show and I had seen clips of you know Johnny Depp's part in it uh, on YouTube you know and such but I hadn't yet seen it for myself as it was meant to be seen and so I thought, oh yeah, let me watch this. And I watched it. You know, I didn't scroll till I got to Tommy Depp's part. I gotta say, the whole show was abs. It's it's an amazing, it's a beautiful show. You know, I'll, I'll get back to Tommy Depp's part in a minute, but wow, kudos to Rihanna. The whole thing was very. It was beautifully done. It was powerful. It was. It spoke volumes. It was just. It was gorgeous. I mean, I. It was tasteful. It was. Beautiful doesn't even really describe that. Um. I mean, it was just an amazing piece of art is how I saw it. So I completely get why Johnny Depp wanted to be part of that. You know, why he agreed. I mean, it was a, a wonderful piece of art. Plus, to all the haters out there that were, you know, have been complaining um, about Johnny Depp being in it, listen, <laughs> Rihanna's a survivor. And survivors recognize survivors. You know, people like Amber Heard might be able to fool some of the world. But you can't fool someone who's actually been through it. I knew, look, before I ever saw the first interview with Amber Heard, before the court, before all I had to do, and I've said this in one of my previous videos, I just looked at a picture. I looked at her eyes. I, it didn't take me two seconds to recognize the fact that she was narcissistic. I pinned that from the beginning before anybody else even started saying she was narcissistic, honestly. I was raised by a narcissistic mother. I've been in several narcissistic relationships, the last one of which nearly cost me my life. So I knew straight away what happened in that relationship, even before I heard the details of it. I just, because they have very similar patterns. And so I immediately knew that Johnny was innocent. Um, and it makes me so happy to see 
people supporting him. But if you didn't believe in him and didn't support him when he needed you most, and now you're trying to jump on that bandwagon, keep on going. We don't need you, you know? Um, so thank you, Rihanna, for having him on the show. And his part in, even though all he, the man did was walk, all the man did was walk. But damn, and this this must have been filmed. When was this film? Um, I didn't even look, but this is back when he had the goatee. And oh, I wish he would bring that back. Oh man. That just makes me like. I'm a southern girl. And when I say I got the vapor, southerners know what I mean. Oh my god. I don't know. I've always been partial to goatees, anyways. But, but on Johnny Depp, he wears a goatee like nobody else, man. How is that possible? <laughs> but all he did was walk. And, and he wasn't dressed like the rest. He was dressed like Johnny Depp, you know? He just, he comes out and he's, in, I think that was the most beautiful part about his part. He literally just comes out and walks. And he's got that side grin. And you can't. You know, and he look. He looks like. He looks like happiness, and he's looking into the camera, and he feels like he's looking at us. You know, he feels like he's looking at us. You know, like. You you feel like you do you feel, like he's just lifted up above all of it. It's all behind him. I mean. Yes, there's, you know, the appeal, and blah, 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 but all that, I think, is formality. It ain't going anywhere, not in my opinion. I could be wrong. I ain't a lawyer. But, he looked, all he did was walk, people, and it melts us. So, yeah, man, bring back the goatee, JD. <laughs> Please. Uh, but it's your face. Do what you want. <laughs> um, we love you no matter what. <laughs> so this video is probably going to be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A um, little bit of everything mixed in. Before I go, because I do have things to do before daycare opens this morning, I want to congratulate Andy and Laura B. Uh, Andy from Popcorn Planet and Laura B. Um, if you haven't already seen the video, um, they met Johnny Depp. They went to one of his concerts and they got to meet him. When I say they got to meet him, I don't mean, you know, I mean they met him. Like they got pulled to his dressing room, I think it was. And they were in, like, a, this private meeting. And I think, um, I mean, a lot of that probably has to do with, I'm guessing because um, he knew their name from court, right? Or I think Laura, at least Laura B., he knew that name from court. I'm not sure how they got back there, but my guess would be that somebody recognized Laura B.'s name because it was brought up in court and in the, in the uh, all the paperwork and stuff, it's been mentioned several or several times, um, which may be how they got that meeting with him. I'm only speculating; I don't know. But I'm so happy that they did, and you could just see how happy on their faces. Oh my gosh, I was so happy for them. Hey guys, it's uh, another portion of this video I've been kind of working on this my Saturday chat video for you guys 
um, a bit. Um, I know my Saturday's going to be pretty busy. Actually, uh, my sister's birthday. Um, so I'm actually going to probably try to work really hard to get this done Friday night. Anyway, um, I, I've been, I'm, I'm kind of slowly trying to do a, a social media cleanse. Um, I've already left Twitter. And I started to have second doubts about that, but not, but not. Um, and I, I realized that by leaving Twitter, I already feel out of the loop on things. Um, so what I'm doing instead is I'm going through the various YouTube channels that, um, that I know of. Um, and I am, you know, making sure that I am subscribed and or join, um, to, to support these channels. So, um, I'm doing that. I am, um, I'm, I'm going to be more active on my, um, my Instagram. I'm trying to get more focused, you know, so much random stuff that I post. That's just kind of me. That's just kind of how I am. I just, I'm, I'm just kind of, I randomly just post stuff. So I'm laying in my bed guys. Um, and, uh, but, I mean, that's just who I am. So, and there's another platform that, um, besides YouTube, I want to say it starts with an R. I can't remember the name of it right now. But I was thinking of joining it. I'm sure it'll come to me. Um, when I say cleanse, I mean, it's, I'm just trying to, um, I, I'll probably even go through my Instagram and just kind of, um, I might get rid of some old posts, stuff that I've uploaded that just seems stupid now, <laughs> you know, like why, why did I take a picture of, of that and post it? Like why, you know. Like, there's a picture of something I cooked. Why did I put that on Instagram? <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know. I do stuff like that. Sometimes. But, I mean, that's me. I'm very random. You know, I can be very random. Um, what time is it getting to be? Well, it's almost 8 o'clock. Y'all know this is my bedtime. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Of course, here I'm, I'm going to stay on YouTube, uh, but Twitter especially, I I felt like I needed more explanation because some people I got I got um, some messages right away from some people uh, who didn't realize I had left Twitter, and I just thought that I deleted them. That's that, or you know, unfollowed them. And that's not what happened. It's that's why I had to make a little sign and put on my Instagram. I didn't, I didn't unfollow anybody. Um, and uh, Twitter just when you see when, and I know a lot of you are still on Twitter, you know. Um, and that's fine. You know, that's fine. I know a lot of Johnny Depp supporters are still on Twitter. That's fine. Um, but I personally, this is just me. I, I didn't know a lot about Elon Musk one way or the other. Okay. Before all of this happened with Johnny Depp. I could care less who he is. Um, 
when I found out that he was cheating with Amber Heard, you know, that's when I didn't like him. That's when I made up my mind I didn't like him. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't care who he is politically or any of that other stuff. I don't care. Um, I just, I didn't like the person, the fact that he's a cheater. You know, he, he, he's an, I consider him a cheater too, you know, um, because he was cheating with Amber Heard while she was married to Johnny Depp, you know? Um, and then, so when he took over Twitter, I'm like, nah, nah. It didn't leave a good taste in my mouth, if that makes any sense to you. It just didn't leave, it didn't set well with me. <clears throat> Forgive my voice, I just don't have my voice back yet. Um, it just didn't set well with me at all. And so, I don't know. I just decided to leave Twitter because I just, I didn't want to do anything to help support him. I want, I felt like I was being more true to Johnny Depp by not supporting Elon Musk and staying on Twitter. Just how I see it personally. Um, you know, I was raised in a house by a narcissist who cheated a lot. Um, <clears throat> been in several narcissistic relationships. Um, my light's blinking. And, um, whew, that's enough to give you a headache, <laughs> that light. Um, it's a smart light, but it's not too bright, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, and, uh, my ex, you know, my husband cheated and I don't, I don't have a good taste in my mouth for cheaters. So I left Twitter because I didn't want anything to do with and all of a sudden there's my voice How crazy is that it comes and goes it's weird oh my god it's so weird <laughs> oh my god um I didn't want actually I think the calmer I talk maybe the the um better it'll sound I don't know <clears throat> um I know it might sound weird to you guys I want I felt like I was being more loyal to Johnny Depp by leaving Twitter. You know, yeah, I can't keep up with what's going on, but over there, but there was a lot less Johnny Depp stuff on my feed anyways. And there was more um ever since Elon Musk took over anyways than just in one day, in one day, I saw a lot less Johnny Depp and more junk. Like, I don't know. Um, the only reason I, I went back to Twitter was to support Johnny Depp. So with Elon Musk owning it now, I don't feel like I'm supporting Johnny Depp by being there. Does that make any sense to anybody? It makes sense to me. <laughs> so, it felt like the right thing to do was leave Twitter. That, that's the best way I can I can explain it, guys. Um, so, you know... Um, 
but I've got this and I've got, you know, I'll, I'll be, like I said, I'm going around to the YouTube channels who are Johnny Depp, you know, supporters and subscribing and or joining. Um, and got my Instagram, uh, my Facebook, of course. I don't do a lot of this and that on my personal Facebook page because I use it for business as well. Um, my daycare, a lot of them. So I keep, I don't have a lot of extra on that. Um, um, I usually keep, save all that stuff for like my Instagram or here. So, um, so I won't be sharing these videos to Twitter anymore. Um, but I'll be sharing them to, um, other places that I can. So yeah, that's why I left. And I, I'm not saying anyone else should leave because of that. Um, unless you feel let feel led to leave. You know, you have to feel it. You have to feel it in your heart that it's the right thing for you to do. You know, it just felt like the right thing to do. You know. Uh, let's see. Now, I mean, now, if Johnny Depp ever join, like, actually gets to join Twitter, then heck, yeah, I'll be back over there. I mean, if he's going to be on it, why wouldn't I be on it? But, as far as I know, he's not. Um, so. Well, alright, I'm going to end this portion of it and try to get this all put together for you. Um, I need to get to bed. If I don't add anything else, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Night -night. Good evening. I actually have a little time to tack on just a little bit more onto this. It is Friday evening. It is almost 6.15 now. Daycare closed at 6 o'clock. I have the kids' blankets in the wash, taking the trash out. Sandy's been out. I am about to Lysol everything. I wipe everything down here in the bathroom, the playroom, getting ready to turn on the RoboVac. So if y'all hear that, I apologize, but it needs to be done. I'm trying to get like everything done as much as I can uh, this evening because I... Uh, I have a long day tomorrow. Well, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I have a busy day tomorrow. It should be a fun one without my sister's. It's one of my sister's birthday. And we're going to um, celebrate with her. All right. RoboVac <clears throat> is started. Oh, my shirt's like pulled on one side. and I, I, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long week. Uh, just to see if there's anything a little extra I want to talk about. Um, got to work on getting them. I got my vacation time coming up soon. I have five, eight working days. Yes, eight working days left before my vacation begins. I don't think I'm going anywhere. I'm sure as heck gonna don't not setting the wine all far away from me. 
I'm sure going to enjoy the, the break. Um, I, I, I saw an article this afternoon. Um, it caught my eye because it mentioned Ben Chu, um, who is, uh, he is, most of you, if you're on my channel, you know, represented Johnny Depp. And he was talking about the uh, commanders, formerly the Washington Redskins. I grew up in this area. I grew up a Redskin fan. <clears throat> I continue to be mostly because they remind me of my dad. Um, the colors remind me of my dad. Oh, it looks to me like they've changed the colors a little, doesn't it? I don't know. I have not kept up with them as of late because of my busy schedule. <clears throat> but I do pay attention when they come across my newsfeed. And they were picked up by Law and Crime Network of all places because they are being sued apparently um, because I, I think now I, I, I don't want to misquote this so let me get over to my Facebook page so that I can read it correctly And it's going to move slow because I have my camera open. Um, the District of Columbia Attorney General's Office has filed a lawsuit against the Washington Commanders and NFL alleging that the team misled residents by failing to inform them about the toxic and broken culture in the organization. I mean... It hasn't been the same since Gibbs left. Um, that, that's a definite, you know. Um, and Ben Chu was uh, talking about it. They, they were talking with him and another lawyer whom I don't know. Um, and uh, apparently Ben is also a Redskin fan. I mean, you can't really, I mean, if you were raised in this area, um, it's really, you're going to be hard-pressed to find someone that's not, unless they were, you know, moved here from somewhere. I mean, even Redskin fans, and I know they're not called the Redskins anymore, but Washington fans are pretty die-hard, even though we know the team has its serious issues um, and you know we moan and gripe about our own team we do so uh, whatever's going on there it's that's kind of like to me it's like well if I marry somebody <laughs> can I later sue them for misrepresenting themselves as as normal um, but I guess, yeah, you could. <laughs> you could. Look at Johnny Depp. He did. He sued Amber Heard. So I guess, yeah, you can. Mm. Nose is a itching, it's a itching, it's a itching. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was a little bit of interesting uh, there. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Man, I'm just so glad it's Friday, guys. Y'all don't even, y'all don't even know. I'm sorry, I'm not a wine sipper. I'm a wine drinker. I don't really savor it. I should, I actually, uh, I was with somebody once, many years ago, who was older than me. This, this was, like I said, many years ago. Um, and he was like a connoisseur of wines. Um, did, 
cool things like make his own pizza, um, uh, chicken noodle soup from scratch, and was uh, teaching me how. Um, when he tried to teach me how to use the cappuccino machine, that probably was a mistake. Because <laughs> I don't think I ever got the hang of that thing. Mm. And he taught me a little bit about wine. You know, the uh, smells, the taste, uh, about using the aerator when you pour it. I don't actually have one at the moment. thought I did, and I don't. Um, you know what's funny, though, is I actually prefer the cheap-ish wines. I mean, this bottle was it's Stella Rose. I've, I've fallen in love with this wine. It's Stella Rose Blueberry. And I tried it for the first time a few weeks ago. And I am absolutely in love with it. And, um... It's one of those drinks where you don't really taste the alcohol. It almost tastes like the stuff you drink in church with communion. It almost tastes like... And it's carbonated. That's the other cool thing about it. It's carbonated. And I don't usually like carbonated drinks. This stuff is pretty good. And it's pretty low alcohol, you know... I think it's only like nine something percent and I, I do add a lot of ice so this glass was full but there was like probably half a glass of ice so I mean like I care <laughs> I've been doing I've been doing better Andrew just wants you to know um talking to Andrew Marlowe he's got a channel here on YouTube um and uh I consider him a, a dear friend of mine and um I, I I got scared at one point because I started drinking every day after work when daycare picked up when things got hard. Um, I was trying to remind myself, you're making good money, you're making good money, and um and I started drinking every day after work, and it was when I realized that I was going through two bottles of wine a week, which may not seem like a lot for some, but I realized. This could be a problem, you know. And uh, so I I cut back to maybe twice, and definitely on Fridays after daycare. And it also I noticed it was when too, when I would run out of my wine. I would feel sad, and anxious, and like can't be without my wine you know and make a special trip to the store to make sure I had it or pay extra for Instacart to make sure I had it mm. do you want to say I just ordered and I keep kept meaning to order it's a book that I really want to read because I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to relate to it somewhat um Victoria Mary Clark um I'm not on Twitter anymore, but we used to follow each other on Twitter. Um, sorry, Victoria, just and um, but I think she follows my YouTube channel still. I know she did at one time. Hopefully, I didn't say something stupid to make her unfollow me. Um, <clears throat> but I ordered her book. Um, I think it's Angel in Disguise. And it's her story. And um, it's very affordable, actually. Um, <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to getting that and reading it. I've been wanting to get it now for a little while. Um, I mean, it just kind of, after a while, dries my mouth out. But then I have the ice. And I'm really hoping my voice is 100% tomorrow. My baby sister was talking about doing carpool karaoke. Can't sing for snot right now. I can't. I don't know if there's going to be any video of any of this. 
I'll try. Both my sisters are real funny about about that. Um, I need to drink some water. That really dries my mouth out. Y'all like my Golden Girls glass? Oh, yeah. I like the Golden Girls. I like Johnny Depp. I like Sean Cassidy. Scott Bayo. Uh, yeah. Of course, Chris Atkins. Uh, yep, yep. I had a crush on, um, I had a crush on Captain Kirk <laughs> back in the day. Uh, go figure. I, I don't know. Y'all remember, does anybody remember back in the, uh, was it Squad 51? There was a dark-haired EMT. There was Roy and the other one. I was like, what is that noise? That to freak me out. I thought I put tea on, but I didn't. It's my vacuum cleaner. I've got the dishwasher going. I've got my stuff in the washing machine. My landlord don't live here no more. So I can take care of stuff like at normal times like normal people do. I can even leave them in the, in the dryer overnight if I want to. And I just might. <sighs> it's been so nice without him being here. Anyway... Who was that? It was Roy, and who is the other dude? Roy and... What was the name of that? Car, was it Squad? What was the name of that? Squad? No, Rampart. 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 Uh, 51? Emergency. There it is. Emergency. His name is Randolph Mantooth. Oh, I had such a crush on him back in those days. I was a kid, but my heart would just beat a mile a minute. It flutters now looking at his, the pictures from back then. And let's see, current photos. Yeah, well, he's aged like the rest of us. Oh, no, he still looks nice. Look at that. He did age well. Oh, my God. He aged very well, like Richard Gere. Kind of. He kind of looks like him here with the glasses. Whew. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, save this picture if I can. And, uh, and put it here on this part of the video. being stupid. It's being really stupid. Oh, dear Lord, that made my heart skip a beat, because yeah, I just <sighs> I really had a thing for him. Now, when was this picture taken? It says newer pic, but when was this taken? That's all it says is newer pic. Oh, 2011. So, let's see. We can find. I want to find a current one. Randolph Mantooth, 2022. He played Johnny. That was his name on Emergency. Still close to his TV partner. Oh, there's a... Mm-hmm. Long before George Clooney 
or Patrick Dempsey. There was Dr. McDreamy. Few, oh, Randolph Mantooth played America's favorite first responder, Johnny Gates. Come on, man, show me what he looks like now. So he's played some other things. That last, that last sip tasted weird. He's a cancer survivor. Oh wow, I did not know that. I have not kept up with, sadly, with his career or anything. I don't stalk celebrities. <laughs> I don't. I don't. So I. I don't. I have to look up how they've been doing, what they've been doing. Oh. He took his emergency role seriously. So now this is him at, this is, I think this is, that would be a current photo. I'm not sure, but I definitely prefer the look I posted up here. Ah, uh, I think that's hotter than, than his younger look. That was 2011, though, so... No. Uh, there's definitely some other pictures here of him quite older. Oh, this, she's shaking hands with Bill Clinton anyways, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it must be the wine. Oh, uh, well, okay. No, I obviously, I'm just, I'm getting relaxed is what it is. And I almost kind of forgot that I got the camera going. I do have, I do have uh, stuff to do tomorrow. Excuse me. I was going to color my hair, but eh, it's just my sister's right. Some more cleaning I need to do around here. She's gonna meet it here. And then I guess we're gonna go to my other little sisters. I don't know why they just come in here all of I don't know. I don't know. Let me end this before I fall asleep on camera. <laughs> That's not the wine making me tired. It's a week of screaming, yelling kids, constant uh, high alert, constant stress, irritation sometimes. And, uh,. Let me, let me free you guys up off of this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a little howdy-do in the comment section if you are so inclined. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a happy weekend. If any of tomorrow manages to get videoed, which I um, I'll share it with you. Otherwise, and I still got to get week 14 out to you, and I will work on that at some point, some point this weekend, and try to get it out on Monday. But I don't want to think about Monday right now. I can't, I can't, I can't. Not. God bless you guys. Um, I picked up another subscriber, so welcome. Um, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell. Ding. <laughs> yeah. Love you guys. God bless.